Hey guys, it is Liberty here from Spirit Move Ministries. I am very excited to be on with you. Um, my first recording and posting since um, our YouTube was hacked and Elon Musk took over my channel and hid all my videos and posted, they posted their own stuff, but we got everything recovered, amen. It took us about four days, but uh, God worked quickly and uh, we are so thankful for that. Also, hey, Prophecy Now listeners, I don't always mean to leave you out. Um, it's awesome to have you listening on Prophecy Now, my podcast. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip really any announcements because there's just a lot and I don't need to throw it all out there. Honestly, go to the website, spiritmoveministry.co and you can see what's listed there of events that are coming up. A lot of the stuff that I do is free. So get your ticket, that way we know you're coming and then we know you're coming. Um, so this is a, the, the perfect warning dream for me to release after my last warning prophecy. If you have not watched the last word, you need to go back, the serious warning prophecy. Um, you need to go back and watch it because it's gonna prepare you for this word, okay? Um, and so the last word I released was a, a prophetic word that the Lord gave me about uh, dipping Christians. And I'm not gonna go into all that, but he basically said there's Christians who are not serious. You dip in and out of your relationship with God. You dip in and out of being on fire. And the Lord said, that's not what he's coming back for. That's not how his body is supposed to live. We're to be on fire and stay on fire even in the midst of trials, even when junk is happening, the call doesn't quit. His plan for us doesn't ever leave. And we have to keep going with the mandate on our life. Okay. I'm leading into this serious warning dream that I had, but it's a beautiful dream, but it, it's the real deal. Um, there's only one Holy spirit. There's only one fire. There's only a, you know, a fivefold ministry, all the gifts of the spirit, all the fruits of the spirit. Like this is what we have. It's one thing and it all comes out of the Holy Ghost and we don't get to decide. And so we can't keep dipping in and out. Go back, you guys, the word it, it has wrecked people. We've gotten emails and they're like, man, I had to repent for being a dipping Christian. And, uh, you know, I don't know, that could probably go on a shirt. I'm not a dipping Christian, but who would get that? You know, nobody would get that. But the thing is, it would be really funny. Um, all the spirit move people would get it and uh, it would be, you know, <clears throat> hilarious. Um, <clears throat> here's the thing. Um, there's a lot of things that have to go, you guys. And you guys know I prophesied in 2020 that this 10 years is pivotal, sorry, for the body of Christ because um, there has to be a cleansing, okay? I'm not going to, you know, retell everything that I've released, but I'll give you the one minute version. There has to be cleansing in the Levites and the priests first. We can't do anything and carry the load of the harvest that's coming in if we're not clean and pure ourselves. If we are only part way in, we are going to get burned up as a tear. And I've had a lot of people, not a lot, a few, because uh, they just don't want to get it and they want to argue. You know what's really funny is if you are a troll <clears throat> and you comment something nasty, uh, I don't even have to, well, I don't actually, I have a moderator, but I don't even have to say anything because then one of my people will jump on and be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And um, thank you guys for that, for your faithfulness to uh, straightening out people, amen, on the media platform. Uh, because I can't go through and read every comment, but if it's nasty, it needs to be deleted. But sometimes you guys take care of it by commenting and replying to them and putting them in their place. And it's beautiful and amazing. And I thank you guys for that. Um, but here's the thing. This 10 years is pivotal because the Lord basically gave me the, the prophecy that 20 to 27 is cleansing these seven years. And then those who are the real deal are going to show up and begin to become who they're supposed to be 
um, fully the body of Christ, pure, clean, right, uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing and all of that. I'm leading into the dream. Hang tight. So um, you need to go back and watch the dipping Christians because here's the thing. When, when he gets us through this era of the shaking and the cleansing, the removal, um, there is a lot of us that are already awake. I was already awake. I don't need to be shaken up to be awake. I was already on fire before 2020. And so, but God has used it for his glory, amen, to wake up a whole, another whole group. But some of them have started to uh, lollygag uh, back into complacency. You can't do that. You're either in or you're out. There's no in between. He doesn't, Jesus doesn't drink warm water, lukewarm water. He drinks hot tea or hot coffee or a cold, you know, a big old cold sparkling water. This is the, his choices. And if you're lukewarm, no, it's not going to work. And so now into the dream, um, as the, the seven years have to happen, and the cleansing has to come because we cannot do anything for him if we're not right. If we're not holy. If we don't mean business and we ain't dead serious. Now, let me throw this out there. For those of you who have emailed or commented and said, you're the religious people. I love you. We want you to be delivered, but you're being religious. But I never have to comment because you guys take care of it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but they will, it's, it's only like one in every like 300 comments, but someone will say something like, um, you're just too sassy. And then other people, their view on it, all my people who follow my ministry are like, I'm, I appreciate your realness because you don't play games. Like you tell it like it is. You're not here to tickle our ear or to baby us. And, um, I need somebody to kick me in the rear, not baby me. And so this whole body of Christ that the enemy has tried to raise up, the seeker friendly, the be careful, don't offend anybody. You guys, that is not going to make it through the end times. That body of Christ is not bringing in the harvest because if you don't know who you are and you're not confident in it and you can't put the devil in his place, you will never make it. You are going to get burned up as a tear because you can't hack it. Now, side note, this is the way I like to state it. Those who are already on fire don't have to worry about being burned up. Okay, um, so here's the thing. If you're on fire and you're letting the fire work in your life, then most likely you're being cleansed regularly. You're being sanctified. You're allowing it and you're being used. You don't have to worry about, oh no, am I a tear? Ah, no. If you're already on fire, you can't get burned if you are the fire. Okay? The Holy Spirit, if it touches fire, isn't going to get burned. Because he is fire. Okay? So, um, here's the thing. This is truly a warning, you guys, because he is not joking. This, this error, I'm not the only, if you, prophet, I'm an apostle, but... I'm also a prophet. I walk in that gifting and in that office, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> Others, just like me, have released the same words in 2020 about it being a new era of the, the uprooting, the cleansing, the shaking over the body of Christ that has to happen. We can't bring in the harvest if we can't even keep our own salvation going. We can't help carry anybody else into the kingdom if we're so busy needing Jesus to carry us, I'm not saying you don't have bad days. I'm not saying we don't have bad things happen to us. And it's rough, you guys. I'm not saying in our time with God, we don't sit with him and go, man, I, I can't do this. But outside of that, we have to know who we are in him and we can't quit. And when you can go through the fire and not quit and be a dipping Christian, I'm about to tell the dream, hang tight and you're not a dipping Christian, then God knows he can use you. He, he takes you to another level of glory and he's going to use you even more mightily because you stayed faithful even when the devil tried everything to stomp you. You didn't quit. And so people, they don't understand how valuable that is to God. How much he loves us when we don't 
let the enemy stomp us and we don't stay down. We get back up or we stay up. We don't ever let him bring us down except for our humble, true moments before the Lord and we're real with him and we're like, hey, I don't know if I can do this. This is rough. God knows. He loves us and he understands that. But at the same time, we can never lose our confidence. We can never lose our hope. We can never lose our fire. Okay. So moving on. <clears throat> um, in this dream, we were having a ministry event. And there were several ministries that were there being represented. Kind of like it was a collaboration of like, I don't even know, 20 different ministries. We were all there doing this big revival. And I had spoke or prophesied and I was getting ready to do an impartation of fire. Um, well, just so you understand me, Shekinah Glory is my song. It has always been my song. Me and Shekinah Glory and the Holy Ghost have a special relationship. And um, from the very beginning of me being who I am um, and really beginning to just uh, release the fire, be a glory carrier, all that, um, the Lord, he let me know glory, he likes Shekinah Glory song. Um, and he basically told me to be playing it when I'm laying hands on people. So I do. And it's important to him. You're probably thinking, how can that be important? It just is. I don't know. You can ask him. I'm not the boss. And so I always know if he's not happy. So here's an example. We were doing an event and I had the song playing um, over and over. Okay. I was invited to come in and it was my fourth day, fourth service speaking. And I was going to release an impartation of fire. This was a couple years ago. Well, I, I said, I need Shekinah Glory. You, the band needs to play it. And then when they get too tired and they can't, handle it no more then it needs to be played on the overhead while I'm doing the impartation and um, it had played through several times whatever everybody's being prayed on people are all over the floor all this amazing stuff's happening and the next thing you know <clears throat> somebody comes up to me from the sound booth of this place that is not a part of my team if they were on my team they would know better don't even come and ask her this especially when she's praying on people um, they come up to me and they're like um <clears throat> we've been playing Shekinah Glory for a really long time. Do you want us to switch it to something else? <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is the very bad moment to be asking me this. I'm like praying for people. And um, I said, nope, keep playing. And they, they just looked at me and I'm like, I'm dead serious. Like, mosey on now. I'm praying for people. Like, this isn't a time for me to discuss the sound equipment with you, the sound or whatever. So, um, but... I don't know why it's that song. So in the dream, I was getting ready to do an impartation of fire. And I basically told them, you need to start playing Shekinah Glory. And so they started, the, the ones that were there doing what I was asking them to do, because I was the one speaking and praying for people. Um, I said, I need you to play Shekinah Glory. I need that going on repeat. And so they began to play it. And as I stood there, in this meeting, all these other ministries that represented different ministries, I'm not going to say who they are, but you would know them. All these other different ministries began beating their own drum. They all had like two drums in front of them. So like as the Shekinah Glory song was trying to play and do what God wanted it to do as we were getting ready to pray on people, all these other ministries randomly out of nowhere pulled out a drum and started beating some weird sound that was not right. And then in the room, all over the place, people were beating different beats to different drums. None of it was, it was a bunch of noise. It was just, it was just noise. It was not, it was bad. And I literally, I, I set out in my mic to the crowd. I said, the Lord wants Shekinah glory playing and everybody they were still they were so loud with the different drum beats they didn't hear me and they kept playing and they got louder and um I said it again I said the Lord says Shekinah glory is his song basically stop all the nonsense you're doing and 
listen. And they didn't. They couldn't hear him. They couldn't hear what I was saying to get them to stop because they were all beating their own drumbeat. And then finally, the third time, um, I became super Apostle Liberty. And I took the mic very seriously and I was bold and I was like in their face. And I said, enough is enough at the top of as loud as I could go. And I said, the Lord says no more. Shekinah glory is his song. Stop. He wants you to be playing Shekinah glory. If you're not playing that song and you're not joining in in unity, in that song, hush, knock it off. Boom, the dream was over. And everybody did stop. They were just like, oh my gosh, you know, she's about to take us out. So after I had the dream, I woke up, I wrote it down, and the Lord's like, here's the thing, Liberty. My body has been separated and scattered. All these different denominations, all these different things, everybody wanting to beat their own drum have their own sound, have their own thing. And he said, um, here's the problem. He said, I have one drum beat, Liberty. And my entire body that is going to follow me and be on fire and not be a dipping Christian, and they're going to stay with it, they need to be on my drum beat. And he said, I don't have 20 different drum beats out there making noise. He said, I have one drum beat. And the Holy Spirit has one drum beat. It doesn't mean drums don't get played in lots of different ways and they're not prophetic and amazing and the glory comes. That's not what he's saying. He said, I beat to a certain drum, the Holy Spirit. I work a certain way. I do things a certain way. I have to have them a certain way. Um, and my body has to come under the authority of that. And he said they have not been doing that. You've got all this clatter out there. And he said, it is, it is keeping people from getting saved because they're confused. He said, there's a small remnant that are, are beating his drum. Those that are in revival, that, are, that believe in the Holy Ghost and fire and speaking in tongues and walking in the gifts and miracle signs and wonders. Those were all, don't get offended, people that don't understand what I'm saying here. You're going to get offended get offended. Here's the thing. Um, Jesus is the one that prophesied what we would do. We would go, we would raise the dead. We would heal the sick. We would, you know, cast out demons. Um, we're called to do that. He has one drum beat. And so in the song, the Lord said, that's why, um, he was like, Liberty, you need to shut them up and tell them Shekinah glory. That's all he wants. Shekinah glory. Welcome his Shekinah glory. That's my drum beat. And so um, it wasn't just about the song, you guys. It was about the unity of the body. And the Lord said, my body has been in disunity. And he said, that's not going to work for the end times. If there is not unity in my body, only those who are unified are going to actually be used to bring in the final ginormous end time harvest that's been prophesied. I was one of them that prophesied that. And it, if you're not working with one purpose, one mind, one thought process, which is the Holy Spirit's drumbeat, it's not going to work. Because you have 10 people out here doing some weird random thing. You have five over here denying the Holy Ghost and fire and power. You have these over here that are being so seeker friendly because they don't want to offend anybody. You have a whole bunch of people in the church, but they're actually not becoming sanctified. You can't get sanctified without the fire of the Holy Ghost. I'm here right now and I'm breaking that to you. It's going to offend you. You need the Holy Ghost. We are to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. It is a separate baptism. So, having said that, you need to understand, are you saying that I can't get to heaven? No. I'm not saying you have to have the Holy Ghost to get to heaven, but what I'm telling you this, the end time army needs the Holy Ghost. You can't survive persecution. The apostles were so on fire, they left every town 
thanking God that they were persecuted for him. They were like rejoicing that they went to jail. They were rejoicing that they got whipped for him. Like that's, you guys, you can't do that without the Holy Spirit and fire and power. You can't do that. And so you're, if you're a complacent Christian and you're dipping in and out, last word, last prophecy, you can't, you can't do it. You're not going to make it, you guys. God is coming back for one body. He's very clear in 1 Corinthians and Romans. I'm one body with many members. But here's the thing. He has a lot of members that are doing what they want and they're beating their own drum. And he says no more. He goes, that's not my end time army. Everybody has to be beating the same drum and it has to be his drum. The Holy Ghost drum. What his heart is saying. What his, what his way is saying. How he would do things. And Jesus was bold. He didn't mess around. He wasn't seeker friendly. He wasn't worried about, oh, I'm going to offend that person. We better just, you know, do these five songs and um, not let the Holy Spirit flow. You know, I know sometimes, depending on where you're at, you have time constraints. I was a church planter. We were in a school and you had to be, we had to be out by a certain time. I get, I get that. Okay. I did it for five years. But here's the thing. Um, that's not what he's talking about. Um, you can let the Holy Spirit flow even if you're on a time constraint. And so he's talking about his body coming together and knowing why you're here, knowing why you're saved, knowing the power of the cross, obeying the Holy Ghost, walking in the gifts, releasing the fire. We're all called to do that. It's not for one person. It's not for those 10 famous people out there, Smith Wigglesworth or Apostle Liberty, or whoever else you can think. There's all kinds of people who do what I do. But the thing is, is it's not for a select few. We are all called to walk in the fire and to release that. We're not to beat our own drum. So here's what you're going to do. The Lord said, you're going to ask him what his drum beat is. And you're going to ask him to bring you up under the authority of that drum beat. Because in the end, Go back and watch Dipping, the last warning. In the end, he, he could say to you, I never knew you. Or you could go to try to deliver someone and the demon says, who are you? Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? I don't know you. You ain't even familiar to me. That's scary. And that's sad. So here's the thing. Um, the Lord says... <laughs> Because this is what he said. Shekinah glory is his song. I want the drum beat of Shekinah glory. That's what he was saying through me in the dream to all these ministries. Stop what you're doing. Get on board. This is it right now. So here's the thing. This is why the cleansing has to happen. I'll tell you this right now. Um... When you go through the fire, it makes you a different person. It makes you, uh, it either kills you and you become a quitter. I would hate that to be you. Or it makes you stronger and you become a whole nother realm of a cycle for Jesus, which is what it did to me. So, um, we're all one body, you guys. This whole relative, you know, everyone can have their own theology. Oh, well, that's their religion. We love them anyway. Okay, I'm going to offend you. Um, that's a lie from the pit of hell. First of all, religion's a lie. Secondly, there is one Holy Ghost. There is one fire. There is one Jesus. There is one God. The Trinity. Three in one. That's it. It's not about theology. It's not about doctrine. There is no doctrine and theology in heaven. I'm going to blow your mind right now. It's going to spaz you out. You're going to be like, oh, she's crazy. She's nuts. Nope. The theology or the doctrine or whatever, that means nothing. Do what Jesus said. Do what Jesus did. Receive what Jesus received. Persecution. Be okay with it. Walk in the fire and get over it and go wreck it for Jesus. And so he is one empty tomb. That's my religion. That's his religion. There is no religion. The empty tomb. That's religion. That's heaven's agenda. 
to get the empty tomb in you and me. So we walk in the power of the empty tomb. The tomb is empty. That's my religion. So let's go walk in. The tomb is empty. The power of the cross. That fire and glory available through the Holy Ghost. Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the Trinity, all that is not a religion, you guys. It's a power. It's a salvation. It's a cleansing. It's a healing. It's miracle signs and wonders. Um, it's not a doctrine and it's not a theology. He is who he is and he has one drum beat. The days of all these different drum beats, those who are not beating his drum are going to go bye-bye. That should scare you. If you run a ministry, you better get on his drum beat. You better stop being afraid of people. Stop worrying about offending people. Because nobody can truly be sanctified and walk without the conviction of the Holy Ghost. Without the glory and the fire and the presence of the Holy Spirit, you can never truly be cleansed to where you're walking it out without constantly falling into sin. Because he can't use you if you're doing that. He's coming for a pure and spotless bride. A pure and spotless bride. Read Ephesians, okay? A pure and a spotless bride. With one drumbeat. With one goal. And that is to participate with the bringing in the, of the harvest. Whatever your part is in that, that is the one goal. Mass transfer of souls from the dark to the light and receiving Christ. And then in the midst of that, you have healing, you have deliverance, you have miracles, you have signs, you have wonders, you have, you know, all the, the, the spirit filled ministries that are, that are important to, to help people to get delivered and, and stay free from things and all that. It's not a one and done, um, but we have to all have one purpose, to see people saved, delivered, and whole in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're not doing that because you're afraid of offending people or you're denying the Holy Spirit, then you're a dipping Christian or you're, you're drumming your own drum and you're not drumming with the Holy Ghost. You're not drumming with heaven's agenda. The Lord says he has one drum beat, church. You need to find that drum beat and you need to submit to it and come under it. This is how we all become one body. Amen. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm going to close this up, but I'm going to pray for you. So, lift your hands. I'm going to go ahead and pray right now. Lord, I just pray for everyone listening to this word, this warning dream, Lord. Um, we declare First of all, we will not be dipping Christians. We declare we will not keep trying to beat our own drum. We will not do what we want. We will, we will hear your voice and we will listen for your drum beat, your heart, your plan, your call. And Lord, we will join in and come under the authority of that and submit to it and do it and become a participant in your body. Lord, I will no longer separate myself by choosing to do my own thing but I will come under the truth of heaven and heaven's drumbeat and I will submit to it and I will welcome the Shekinah glory in my life in Jesus name amen you guys you can do those do that on your own every day you need to ask the Lord if you're beating a, the wrong drum how to get on the right drum it's going to involve the Holy Spirit and fire. I'm just telling you that right now. Or the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Um, and so I've had many get baptized in the Holy Spirit watching one of my words or being in services, obviously. Um, you need to know there's a whole other realm and you're missing it. If you're a dipping Christian, you never... Because see, here's what happens. Okay, here's an example. Um, this is just a random thing I'm going to tell you. Okay. So, if you want to get a tan and you go to the tanner, okay? This is my analogy, okay? But then you're, you, you don't go in between. So, you lose your color. You lose your tan. 
So then when you, when you are, you do go back to the tanner, <clears throat> you're not getting more tan. You're making up for the tan you lost. For real. Sorry guys, this might be a girl conversation for you, but I'm being real. So it's the same thing if you exercise and then you quit for, for a couple of months, then when you go back, you have, you're not starting off where you were. You have to make up for what you lost. You have to make up for what you didn't do. Okay. So that's what happens when you're dipping Christian, when you're not on his drum beat and you don't keep going on that drum beat and stay in the fire and stay on fire. You're constantly coming back and then he has, to, what you receive isn't bringing you any closer. It's not making you more grown. It's not uh, making you more sanctified. You're just making up for what you lost. That can't be his body. We have to know who we are, go with it and keep going to where we're always going up levels. We're not having to come back and make up for what, because we were dipping. And so um, it's important you guys this shaking, the cleansing that's happening, God has to do it. Everybody needs their drum sticks and their drums taken from them. He's in the middle of doing that. And I think it's amazing to watch. And I can't wait to see what happens when we get to around year 2027, 20, 28, because um, it's going to be amazing. Right now is amazing to watch everything but it's going to be even more amazing then. Amen. And so here's the thing, guys. Choose his drum beat. Sit with him tomorrow morning or whenever you sit with him again and you prophetically hand him over your drum and your sticks and you say, Jesus, I'm not doing this anymore. I want to be on your drum beat. Help me to see what that is and, and how to do it. Lay your drum sticks and your drum aside and say, I want to join the body and I want to join your heartbeat, your drum beat, Holy Ghost. It's all for you. It's all for you and the bringing in of the end time harvest. Amen. Okay. I'm going to go, you guys. I love you very much and um, be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. Be blessed.